Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos. Like oh, this. man, so let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about your boy, Jake? Paul and Dana White is still going at it. Oh, <laughs> but look, I'm going to tell you now, Jake Paul, he, he, he's making some good arguments about what he's talking about. He's talking about fighters, equality of pay, basically saying that the UFC guys are being underpaid and the discrepancy between the amount that most other pro sports have their amount of salary that they give out pertaining to how much they bring in you know he's basically saying that ufc is a billion dollar company which it is and i think it raked up somewhere in the upward of nine billion dollars now so basically from there he was saying simply as this is that these guys should be getting paid at least 50 grand per fight but most of these guys are getting paid starting pay 12 grand and after you pay your trainer your team and the gym and all that stuff like that then you pretty much maybe walk away with three four grand so he's basically saying these guys are taking this crazy punishment for their family per fight when they get a fight if they get booked surviving off of what the UFC is offering and a lot of the UFC guys have second jobs working at Walmart firemen police got whatever and a lot of stuff that Jake Paul is saying actually has a lot of validity so hey I mean who's to knock this guy for at least trying to shine a light on you know equal pay if that's what he's truly doing and i'm hoping he's doing that for real and he's not doing that uh as a social media ploy to get views because that's what dana white is saying about this guy he's saying this guy's fake he's a joke he's a con artist uh he takes steroids you know, so Dana White is taking some jabs back at Jake Paul. But I tell you what, Jake Paul took the ultimate, not jab, but a straight right uppercut <laughs> on this one. He said, you know, Dana White do cocaine. And I mean, he just was going in like, God, oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> So, you know, whoa, <laughs> I don't think these guys plan on being friends anytime in the future after these videos that Jake Paul put out. I mean, wow, he said so much, but he did say a lot of good stuff in it about, you know, equal pay for, you know, fighters, boxers and UFC. So, hey, if. It takes, you know, the problem child to bring awareness and open people's eyes up and hopefully shine a flashlight on a subject that may need to have some conversations about. And that is, you know, equal pay. You know, these guys are putting their life on the line. And, you know, oftentimes we see the promoters walk away with 90 percent of the, the purse and the uh, speaking of Don King and Mike Tyson and the fighter walk away with you know just a small portion of what he put his body on the line for so I mean I would at least say with this promoters because I, I, I understand promoters got to put up money they got to advertise they got to do this and that but at the end of the day you're not putting your body on the line so at least just hey go 50 50 or 80 20 or you know or uh 60 40 you know but uh it it do need to change you know these fighters 
do need to have a equal opportunity at a better life. And uh, it shouldn't just always be one sided. It shouldn't always be wop sided that the rich get richer and, you know, these fighters stay poor. <laughs> you know, it kind of sounds like uh, humans and humanity right now. Uh, but I digress. So, but look, Jake Paul, hey, if what he's doing, bringing awareness, making people talk about this thing that need to be talked about, I can. About imagine that it's a lot of fighters around the world is loving that, you know. So, anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for you on this video. You already know what you got to do when you leave my house. Wipe your feet off. Hit the like button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website. I got new merch there every single week. All right, y'all. Peace.